Have you ever been playing Gary's Mod and thought to yourself, man, I love this game, but I wish it had a downgraded and more portable version that I could play on my mobile phone right now for free? Well, in that case, you have clicked on the right video. Let me introduce you to Wii Mod. It's one of the leading clones for Gary's Mod on Android and iOS. But how exactly does it compare to Gmod? How similar is it? How does it differentiate itself from it? We're going to find out all of that and much more in this video. So let's start with the platform. Gary's Mod is of course available on the PC, whereas Wii Mod is available for both Android and iOS iOS devices. Price. Gary's Mod sells for $9.99, but it can also be purchased for as low as $2.49 during sales. But prices will of course vary by your region. Wii Mod on that hand is free, but it has ads. As always, you can turn them off by turning off your Wi-Fi. Number of players. Between 20 to 60 million players on Gary's Mod, whereas more than 5 million players have downloaded Wii Mod. By default, Gary's Mod has two maps. There's flat grass, which is, well, flat and grassy. It also has this flat building with a secret room inside it. Then there is of course Construct, which is this comparatively small open area with buildings, this spawned, these back rooms, this vast nothingness room of which you can color the walls, this room with a giant mirror. Either that or a jazz of gaming in a parallel universe is also making a VMOD comparison video right now. Stop it, stop it, stop it, there can be only one jazz of gaming. Oh look, I killed him and uh, I decided to take a nap at the very same time. Also, there's this super duper dark room. Wait, um, what is the static? Hey, yo, is that, is, is that Slenderman? Oh no, actually, I guess it's uh, Slenderant Man. Uh, I think instead of watching us from the shadows, Bro would be better off watching his figure instead. In Vladimir's mod, there's nine playable maps. First, there's the city map, which is actually one of Gmod's most popular mods, Big City. Then there's this bootleg version of Construct, without the pond or the cool rooms. It looks very bland and looks like someone who read more almonds tried to reconstruct GM Construct from bad memory. Then there's this map of this small and not so well to do town. I really like its aesthetic. Then there's this desert map. It's kinda like flat grass but with sand instead. There is this racetrack map. There is this uh, Middle Eastern palace. There's flat underscore uh, flatness. And finally there's this cartoon town map. Fizz guns. The fizz gun in Gmod allows you to grab stuff, move it around, pull or push it, rotate it, and even freeze it in place. Now the fizz gun in Wiimod also allows you to do all of that, but all the while looking like it's completely wrapped up in duct tape for some reason. Did the devs break the 3D model while importing it in or something? Playable characters. Gmod has 87 playable characters. This includes characters from Half-Life 2, Portal 2, Counter-Strike, and other. Valve games. Many of the characters come in different sets of clothing, like a Barbie doll. But for epic gamers, you can choose the color of their clothing and even skins for certain characters. In Vmod, you can choose from 7 different playable characters. I don't know why, but they all seem extremely uptight for some reason. Spawn list. Gmod has tons and tons of items that you can spawn, including furniture. This gigantic chess set, which you can conveniently flip over when you lose. Aww. Is your opponent sad that you flipped the board over? while well, they were winning. Well, uh, you can rotate them really fast to simulate uh, merry-go-rounds so that they can get a little bit cheered up. Oh, that, uh didn't work actually. Metal, glass, wooden and plastic construction tools, railway engines and a zombie space program launcher which oddly enough resembles a railway track. Roads and airplane parts from which I have constructed my very own airplane. Welcome to Jazz of Airlines. This is your pilot speaking. We didn't have enough money for seats or for seat belts so you know. This is the true meaning of budget airlines. Oops, uh, oh, uh, unfortunately only one passenger managed to arrive at their destination, which is hell. Sweet dreams, brother. Please do tell your family and friends about Jazz of Airlines. There's also wheels and frames, a large variety of ragdolls, vehicles, and ammunition props from Half-Life 2. In Vmod, you can spawn straight up buildings, you can build roads, put out all sorts of signs, which she clearly is never ever going to get. A lot of the spawnable stuff in here is straight up trash too. That's not a dig at the game by the way, it straight up is. You can spawn in a bunch of food props. There's some device 
devices which I have spawned in here very carefully to showcase it to you guys. Boxes, crates, furniture which includes this water jar for some reason. I don't think this would be very comfortable to sit on. There's some geometric planks and seats, some billboards and a whole lot of other stuff. Weapons. Besides the fizz gun, Gmod allows you to choose between 14 weapons which include a revolver. Uh, <laughs> I said a revolver. Oh. A revolver. There we go. A crossbow. The gravity gun, which you can use to grab stuff and throw at your enemies. Or heck, you can even use it to grab your enemies and throw them at stuff. Oh, what's that? Why is this baby my enemy? You ask? He called me a goo goo gaga. That's probably a filthy swear word in his dialect. There's also the stun stick. And we're gonna have the great battle of the stun sticks right here. Come on, come at me, bro. Come at me. Die. And your very own signature knuckle sandwiches. And this RPG launcher. Vmod allows you to choose only between four weapons. There's of course the fizz gun, but then there's also this pistol. Okay, it's taking quite a while to die. Oh. <laughs> This is how, oh, you know, when I go out, that's exactly the way I'd like to go out. There's this assault rifle. And finally, this bazooka, which will to run with a synthetic. Stop it. Stop it. Bazooka? Well, like bazooka. Gmod has a fog, sky, and sun editor. If anyone tells you that the earth revolves around the sun, then you must ask them if they have ever even played Gmod, or if they have simply been played by the so-called education system. There's these 2D bouncy balls. You can use it to turn an area into a ball pit. There's some ammunition and stuff from Half-Life 2 which you can walk into it and just collect it. There's also this thumper from Half-Life 2, which keeps away the antlion NPC. Eh, it have just kept away from me anyway, if he simply got to know me better. Technology is technology. Vmod doesn't have any such entities. NPCs. In Gmod, you can spawn four animals, which include the crow, the seagull, the pigeon, and Father Grigori. The Father you keep Grigori, the better. There's also machines like the ceiling turret. The paparazzi drone. This roller mine. This manhattan. These hostile combined soldiers. They're more like hostile divide soldiers now. Am I right? Uh, they're not even being hostile anymore because they're programmed to. This is just a typical reaction to one of my puns. There are a few flying enemies. And this gigantic strider. Or should I call him Daddy Long Legs? Or Father Lendy Legs? Actually, based on his demeanor towards me, I don't. I think he'd want me to call him a dog. There are some neutral Half-Life 2 NPCs which include this large robot called Dog. Oh, sit. Uh, what the dog doing? <laughs> oh, sit. Dog. 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 This is exactly why I prefer cats. The ever mysterious G-Man. I mean, what does he even carry in his briefcase? Does his bomb pack him a sandwich for breaks between stalking Gordon and Half-Life 2? There are the Vortigaunts. There is this harmless little next spot. I guess you should go with Alex. There's the ant lines that I mentioned earlier. And a bunch of zombies and head from Half-Life 2. Which includes this guy without any legs. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Are you just gonna kill me and not even eat me? Hey, don't waste your food. Zombies in less developed countries could have been eating me right now. You can also choose the default weapons that your NPCs will spawn with. Vmod allows you to spawn six hostile NPCs, including this conjoined demon hound. <laughs> Just leave me alone. <sighs> this is why I'm more of a conjoined demon feline person. This zombie from Half-Life 1. This other zombie that you tell your Half-Life 1 zombie not to worry about. This one-handed zombie. And finally, this no-handed zombie. I guess when zombies are hungry, there's always some or the other limb that comes in handy. Vehicles. Half-Life 2 offers you 12 vehicles. There's this airboat, this jeep, and this fog. and nine chairs, which are excellent when you want to sit, contemplate, and travel to the dark, dark recesses of your mind. Oh, and you can also put thrusters on them. 
course it is. Guys, do not order the food if there's chili peppers drawn next to the name of the food on the menu. Vmod has about 40 vehicles in total. First as the standard on-road vehicles. Like that bus which I just spawned, this soccer mom van, this corvette, or more like a car dry in this case, this police car, this pickup truck, and this SUV. There's also these air vehicles, which include numerous helicopters, and these UFOs with giant lasers. I will destroy everything in my way. Well, I mean, uh, duh. It'd be kinda hard to destroy things in your sleep. Well, Except for marriages, apparently. And finally, there's this mech, which is pretty darn cool, to be honest. Guess you could say that I'm making a mess. Huh? 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 Something? Anything? Post processes. The post processes tab allows you to add various effects, overlays, shaders, and textures, many of them all together at the same time. Let's check out the water overlay. Hello? How are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. Why did I even need to add an Indian accent when I already have one? Vmod also has some post processes which can be activated from the menu, but they were apparently incompatible with my device. Dupes. In Gmod, dupes are random creations by the players that you can spawn inside a game, like this watermelon in a bucket with a hat or this wooden helicopter. Vmod doesn't allow you to spawn dupes. Saves. Gmod allows you to save the state of a game and load it later, but it also allows you to load other player saves as well. Vmod 2 allows you to save your game, load it, and share it with other players. Tools. Gmod offers you a variety of tools, which include balloons. What are you so happy about? Imminent death? A duplicator, which has been used a lot on the Play Store, apparently. The emitter, which ate at a very unhygienic roadside establishment, I suppose. The hoverball, which you can control with your keyboard. You also got the finger, face, and eye poison. To a simulate plastic surgery gone wrong, or gone right, perhaps. Depends if you're going for the, uh, just suddenly came across Ryan Gosling look. No, Ryan, Ryan, stop it, Ryan, no. Leave him alone, Ryan. He's a fan, Ryan. Ryan, no, no, Ryan, bad. Bad Ryan, bad, bad Ryan, ow, ow. There's also render tools, such as the camera, which I've just fired using the fizz gun. Material, okay, this is really cool actually. And the trail tool. No, this is not a juxtaposition. This zombie really does love you. Well, uh, the meaty bits of you at least. Vmod also has plenty of tools, such as balloons. It looks like a balloon salesman who accepts payment only in flesh and mastercard as well probably there's also the bounciness tool there we go we've got a bouncing washing machine this tool which can turn off gravity for certain objects like uh, if i just leave it up in there it stays up in there there's this color changing tool there's this remover there's the set scale tool which i can use to make this bus extra white and uh, i can even drive it as well you know this is for when you've got like a really big party or set help help uh oh my god what the hell is happening <laughs> and there's also the belt tool utilities under the utilities tab in gmod you can delete one type of thing or everything that you have spawned i'm gonna miss that dancing troop you can change the fizz gun settings sandbox settings and server settings under the host tab in vmod you too can clear everything only props NPCs, only vehicles, multiplayer. There's a variety of multiplayer modes for you to engage in Gary's mod, such as roleplay. Sandbox. Zombie survival. And prop hunt. In V mod, there is a survival deathmatch mode under events which can be enabled within your server but uh, as you can see I don't have any friends. But besides that, there's no game modes besides sandbox. But there are plenty of servers and players available to play with. Uh, why is that building flying? Only in V mod, guys. Only in V mod. Uh, the car seems to be stuck in a particular point of time. And there's an equal terrorist firing at the trees. Apparently, languages. Charismod allows you to play the game in 32 different languages. Need to pass the time by holding the crew of a sip for ransom? Well, what 
Sorry not. Because they were also included in the language of pirates. How thoughtful of the developers. You can't change the default language in Vmod. Level Creator. Vmod has an application called Hammer which allows you to create in-game levels and maps. You cannot create levels in Vmod. Mods. Gary's Mod has over 1.7 million mods available for usage. They include maps, weapons, vehicles, NPCs, no, no, I'm allowed to get it. No, help. Please, 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 no. I, I can't fit in here. No, no, no. Oh, it's done. Ha ha. Why don't you lose, try losing some weight next time, huh? Maybe if you didn't eat every single, you know, person right up there, carries what? Oh, sit there. No, no, no. no. You better be eating your veggies too later, okay? Tools. Who is that? More like most farts. Entities. This is the freezer's point of view. Every night at 2 a.m. when I come over looking for leftover ice cream. Effects such as this uh, PS1 filter. Alex, as your good friend, if he doesn't love you in your PS1 filter days, then he does not deserve you in your PS5 filter days. Are you listening to me, Alex? Alex? Uh... Guys, I've, I've, I've been friends on Dr. Kleiner, I, 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 just, I guess I'm just going to have to marry you after all. Uh, and now we are officially divorced. Who, who wants to marry me next? Player models, etc. Vmod has over 6,000 user-listed add-ons, which are actually all just save states of default maps. Some of them are just random saves like this, with a sort of mess created in them. Whereas others are these absolute fever dreams. Which is better? Vmod. By a mile. Just kidding, of course. But it's alright for a mobile clone and fairly fun. Which to use? Gmod if you have a PC and can afford it. Vmod if you don't have a PC and prefer not to pay for games. Final thoughts and alternatives. Overall, Vmod tries to be like the mobile phone version of Gmod, but with its own sense of uniqueness added to it. If you're looking for something like Vmod but with a deeper sense of accuracy to original, then I would suggest Gmod to you. If you're looking for other Gmod clones, then there's also Gobox. And I played a whole bunch of them in this particular video right here. So that's that's it for this video. I've been Jazif, you've been my audience. Thank you for watching and goodbye.